Rajshree ji, you have been honored with the Padma Bhushan for your services to the society. You have also been conferred many other awards for your contribution to inclusive, sustainable development. For you, what has been the most rewarding aspects about CSR? Can you share a story around what has been the most satisfying experience for you personally? Being engaged with the underprivileged people and in our own humble way, trying to change their lives has been and continues to be a soul-lifting experience. It's beyond words. The change is palpable and transformative. From despair to hope, from servitude to self-confidence, from a life of dependence to a life of dignity and self-esteem. In fact, without community initiatives, our group's journey, says Kumar Mangalam, my son, would be incomplete and our achievements less rewarding. Polio eradication has been one of the most gratifying projects. Polio has been the scourge of the country. In 1988, there were 3,50,000 polio afflicted world over. Of these, 200,000 were in India. In 2008, India accounted for half of the world's new cases of polio, and so many of them were children and youngsters crippled by polio. In 2001, we began a very meaningful collaboration with Rote International. Even then, they had launched a global aggressive polio eradication drive. It was a kind of destiny that they approached us for support, which we extended fully. This was both in terms of financial help and engagement. Our vision was common to eradicate polio. With the determination shown by Rotary International to do whatever it takes to eradicate polio, we could see light at the end of the tunnel. By 2011, we were a polio-free country. What an amazing feat achieved in such a populous country. As all of you know fully well, today we have only two countries, Pakistan and Afghanistan, that are not polio free. We do hope that over the next three years, no cases will be there in these countries as well. Otherwise, we all are at peril. When migrants or even tourists come from these countries to India, the possibility of their carrying the polio virus always exists. It can easily transmit to our children. So therefore, even though we are free of polio, we have to continue to administer the drops to every child from the age of zero to five years. So we are now supporting Rotary International to ensure the non-resurgence of polio.